some Hunger Games. This one is going to be occult style. And I'm so excited. I'll be turning around and introducing you to all the characters that are playing today. But here in a second, let me say, for those of you that are watching live, if you would like to sponsor a sim, um, one sub equals you can gift a snack to a sim of your choice, three gifted subs, and these all have to be in a single session. They cannot stack. Um, um, three gifted subs make your sim, oh, sorry, make a sim of your choice to take care of their needs. So you can have them, you can kick another sim out of a bed and have the sim you want go sleep in the bed if they're really low on their energy, or you can make them uh, go to the bathroom or take a shower or, you know, whatever they need to get them ready before that next death challenge. Um, <clears throat> five subs. If you get five subs, you have two cents of your choice. Woohoo. Or if you don't want them to woohoo, or you could pick an additional sim to add to the pit. So say we do the risk challenge and one of the sims is added to the pit to start with, you can add a second sim to go in the pit of your choice. Like, say you really hate somebody and they did really, except for the winning sim. You cannot add the sim that won. They have immunity. But you can add any other sim you hate and you really want in the pit to the pit. Um, and finally, if you give 10 subs. <laughs> oh, crap. The 10 sub one's not going to work anymore. Because there is no mystery butler. Hmm. I guess you could get the, your name will be put on, on, uh the miss uh, on the butler you can still do the mi the butler thing but it's not a mystery but you can put your sims name on the butler all right guys without further ado let's explain the rules of the hunger games so for those of you who are watching if you've never seen my hunger games challenge before i've done this many many times if you want to see any of them over on youtube with my hunger Games series on my plays um every day these sims will participate in a risk challenge and a death challenge they will begin the day by starting with a risk challenge. The risk challenge will be a competition where every sim goes head to head doing the same activity. Um, and there is going to be a winner and a loser. The loser is unfortunately sent to spend the next 12 or whatever hours until up until the death challenge in the pit. They sit down here where they cannot take care of any of their needs. They got to sit in a hole. So, <laughs> and then if a sim wins the risk challenge, they get to spend their cushy little time in the winner's hut. So this door is locked off. Only the winner sim and a butler can come. Apparently somebody left some stinky waffles in here. And it's, oh, who was making stuff? Um, anyways, they get full amenities. They get access to a kitchen, access to a bed that they also have to share with a butler. So it's only a bunk bed, but they still, you know, it's a nice bed. Uh, they can watch TV to entertain themselves, have a sip of a kava bowl. They can be on the computer, read a book, and they have full golden access to the finest plumbing appliances around. Also, they can come out onto their balcony with no other entrances and sit and laugh and watch the other Sims suffer while they get to sit in their cushy little winner's cabin. All other Sims playing will be sitting in the community hut. Now, in the community hut, they have no access to entertainment except dancing. That's about it. They do not have access to a kitchen. There is no food served. Their meals are served to them every day. Only three plates of food are put out for eight Sims by the lovely butler. Um, and then as the Sim numbers dwindle down, those plates that are given out a day are dwindled down. So... With eight sims, I give out three plates. With four sims, I give out two to, no. With six sims, I give out two plates. With four sims, I give out one plate until the very end. Um, and then they also have to share a community bathroom. And uh, it's not that great. They got a wooden crappy toilet, a mediocre sink, and a crappy <laughs> bathtub. Um, and finally... Between the eight sims that are remaining, or seven sims, I should say, they have to fight over a single bed. So once one sim is sleeping in here, no other sims can come and sleep. So it's first come, first served. I mean, you can nap on the couch, but napping on the couch is not as nice. All right. And I know you guys are getting ready to go. So without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you to the sims playing today. The sims in question today... Oh, let me see. Okay, I can find the top of their chairs. That way I can get everything all lined up. 
So this is the occult challenge. So we'll be having one of every occult sim to kind of do a little test, a science experiment, if you will, and discover what's the best occult in the game. And we will be placing bets also on who you think is going to be uh, the first loser tonight. So once I show you guys all the sims, I'll be going ahead and, pop and pulling up a predictions poll. And we're going to pick who you think is going to be our, our first one to die today. All right. First sim is an alien sim. This sim is obviously an alien. She has all the perks that an alien does. What are those perks? I don't know. Probing? Uh, <laughs> telekinesis? In my opinion, I don't know if the aliens are top notch, but maybe they'll pull ahead. I don't know. So what's her name? I think her name is Venus Star. If I remember correctly, this is Venus Star here today. So she is playing the part of our alien sim. Next sim up, we have El Faba, or I think she might currently be married to Vlad, so she might be El Strahd. Um, she is playing the part of a spell caster sim for us today. So El Faba is a pretty well-known spell caster in The Sims 4. I have her zhuzhed up to my accord, though. So, <laughs> so spell casters, I don't know. I don't know. They could, their magic could help them. It could also harm them. I don't know. I don't know if it'll give them any advantages, but who knows? Maybe, maybe they'll have advantages. Hmm. Next sim up is a werewolf sim. And for my werewolf sim here today, I decided to put none other than Beastie Baby. You guys really seemed to love him in the Disney Princess Challenge. And he's one of my favorite werewolf sims in the game uh, that I've made. So of course we have Beastie Boy here playing the part of our werewolf sim. Now, the werewolf sim, I am already not looking forward to. You know why? Because they just don't listen. You know, they just, <laughs> they just grind my gears. They scare all the sims around them. They don't seem to know when to stop. They start running around the place. They start destroying my crap. Um, how will this help him? I don't know, intimidation, maybe. <laughs> but we will see how Beastie Boy chooses to survive. Next, of course, we have Vladdy Daddy, or Hot Vladdy Daddy, because I, I have an edited version of him. But he's still the vampire king you know and love. Um, I'm not confident for him today. I'm just going to say it. I'm not confident, because you know where we are? A beach. You know what's going to come up in the morning? The sun. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that he's going to last long, but maybe he'll surprise us. Maybe he'll surprise us. Um, I don't foresee him living past the first risk and or death challenge, depending on what time of day those take place. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see how far Vladdy Daddy makes it. I don't think he's going to be the winner, but he would be the underdog of the century if he lived. Personally, I don't think he's going to, but you know. <laughs> Next up, we have our mermaid sib. Now, don't confuse her with the little things flying out of her back. She is also dressed up as a fairy, but she is a mermaid. She has no special perks from being what looks like a fairy. Um, she's just my fairy mermaid. <laughs> so, she is playing the part of our mermaid sim here today. That Her name is, oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> Well, this is my mermaid sim. Mermaids, how will they play out? I mean, we're in Solani. That could be an advantage. You know, we're on their home turf. So maybe that works out for her. Don't know. Um, mm. Oh, somebody's asking, is the umbrella rack still available for Vlad? Hmm. I don't know. Should it be still available for Vlad? Could one of my mods put up a poll? on what you guys think. Should uh, Vlad be able to have an umbrella? Is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Or is that just something that comes with the vampire, you know? So she'll be playing a part of our mermaid. Next up, we have Patchy. Now, is Patchy an occult sim? Technically, by sim standards, he is. Patchy is the scarecrow sim that you can get in the game if you have the seasons pack. He comes on a pumpkin stand. <laughs> um, and if your sim talks, talks to Patchy enough, um, he will come off his stand 
and then you can like shift click him and add him to your family and stuff. So I love Patchy. I think he'll do pretty well. I mean, technically he's kind of like a human sim, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how he does, you know? Uh, next. For the Easter season, I just had to add the flower bunny. It just felt right since Easter was yesterday. <laughs> also, I hope you guys all had a wonderful Easter, by the way. Hope you all had a great time. But the flower bunny was a must, so the flower bunny has been added. Once again, same as Patchy. Are they a cult sim? Yes, technically. Um, does that matter much? Probably not. So we will see how uh, our flower bunny does. Lastly, the last sim I added. So, well, whatever, I'll just show you. Lastly, we have the tragic clown. <laughs> so I have also added the tragic clown into this. I know some of you were probably expecting the Grim Reaper or Father Winter. But I felt it would be kind of cheating to add the Grim Reaper or Father Winter because those sims can't technically die. So I couldn't pull them in. Now, I know you must also be thinking, why not Bone Hilda? Why haven't you pulled Bone Hilda in? Because she's technically an occult sim as well. Well, she can't die either. So <laughs> also, I couldn't pick her. But, 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 but. any day now she is the maid so bone hilda is the maid or the butler sorry bone hilda is the butler this season plant sims also one i thought about but i couldn't technically do because one i accidentally got rid of the mod <laughs> that allows me to make any sim a plant sim but plant sims are also temporary so the plant sim this only lasts for so long so i didn't add a plant sim this time because i forgot i got rid of the mod until it was too late for me to go back and install it but we have Bone Hilda as the butler. So if you gift 10 subs, I will put your name over Bone Hilda. So it'll be Bone Hilda, your username. <laughs> like it'll be her last name. So the person that gives 10 subs will be Bone Hilda. Um, since they are a faceless sim, it actually kind of still works out. <laughs> Maid, butler, same diff, basically. So yeah, there you go, guys. These are all of the occult sims that will be competing in the Hunger Games today. Now, before we get started on the very first challenge, before I give away anything else, let me go ahead and set up a predictions um, to see which sim you guys think will be the first one to die. So let me go ahead and get that going. First... <laughs> to, well, I guess we'll call it expire because it's probably not going to want to like the die. So, um, alien sim, I'm just going to go with their general cult name, spellcaster, werewolf, <laughs> vampire, uh, mermaid, patchy, Bunny, and lastly, clown. All right, guys, you guys will have one minute to go ahead and cast your votes over on Twitch. So please go ahead and place your predictions now. If you do not see the prediction popping up, go ahead and refresh the stream, the stream to see some. Please go ahead and place those predictions. That way you can get your points later. Um, <laughs> yeah, Vlad does have a chance to die. Also, did we pull up a poll about the uh, umbrellas? Because I didn't... Oh, crap. Did somebody just pull it up? <laughs> oh, I can hear my baby crying. He's in a mood today. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all are talking about things in my chat. I don't understand right now. <laughs> no worries, Gee. No worries. 
The clown has got to go? Princess Ice, what do you got against Tragic Clown? He's a sweet little baby. <laughs> Oh, I can hear my baby crying. He is not in a good mood today. All right, I've uh, com or I copy and pasted the poll message, so I can go ahead and paste that over here. That way I can go back and look at it when I need to. I believe poll should now be over, or sorry, the thing should now be over. I'm gonna go ahead lastly and post a poll for should, Va should Vlad get a umbrella? I'm not gonna make him use it, but he has the option to, Vlad. Um, yes or no. All right guys, real quick. Last thing before we get started. Should Vlad get an umbrella? Yes or no? That'll be the last thing I do. Because he is a vampire and the sun is going to be coming out later. <laughs> so I need to know that now. Come on, Vlad, kick the bucket. Oh, uh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should have asked the poll of should he get an umbrella first. Because now y'all might cheat him. And because you voted on him being the first to die. But even with the umbrella, they're always too stupid to use it. So I have a feeling he's still gonna die. <laughs> the clown terrified me as a child, so now he gotta go. Oh, you guys are gonna take it out on poor Tragic? You took this all out on poor Tragic Clown? What did he do to you guys? Does Vlad already have an umbrella? Does he already come with an umbrella? No, he doesn't. And it looks like you guys are voting that, yes, he'll be getting an umbrella. So let me go ahead and grab that for him. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, hey. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Vladdy Daddy. You get an umbrella. Choose a new umbrella. Oh, I still have all the sounds off for The Sims. Let me turn those back on because I didn't want to mess with everything. Choose a new umbrella. Of course, of course there's no black ones. That's rigged. This umbrella has already been chosen. Apparently he does already have an umbrella. Does he? More. Open umbrella. All right, is there any way I can tell him to use it? I think he should use it. He has one already. So. Let's go with that. All right. First challenge of the day, and I have made a choice for what our first risk challenge. As you guys know, we always start out with the risk challenge, so we're gonna go ahead and doing that first. And since we recently got the Crystal Creations, I have decided this would be a fun challenge to do with all our Sims. So let me go ahead and get eight of these out, and we will begin the first risk challenge. I'm very excited for this one because I thought it was just before stream and I'm like, oh, we have a new thing to do. All right, so I'm gonna have each sim, well, actually, hold on, I'm going to alter needs, fill the entire household's needs so they're all starting off with the same needs. Um, now, I will tell each sim to come line up in front of the different jewelry making machines and then I will tell them all to make a random piece of jewelry. Now, what I'm hoping to see is many different options for jewelry. There's many, there's multiple different ways a sim could make a different piece of jewelry. Um, so we're looking for whoever makes the highest priced piece of jewelry, they will be receiving the winner's hut. And whoever gets the lowest piece of jewelry is going to be sentenced to the pit. And then we will take sponsor polls after that. So if you're going to sponsor a sim, please hold until the end of the risk challenge. Thank you. All right. Let me go ahead and tell each sim to randomly design a piece of jewelry. Hopefully they all start at roughly the same time, but we will be, in the end be waiting until they're all done. All right, each sim, prepare. 
Use all your mastery. Patchy, really quickly, going in there with that hammer. He is confident. Oh, look at everybody twirl on their little pliers. Oh, Vlad pi pinched himself. That's rough. Oh, okay. Flower Bunny and the mermaids. Oh, by the way, what's the freaking mermaid's name? Cora Faye. Sorry. Cora Faye is our mermaid sim. Don't be confused with the fact that she has wings. Cora is the mermaid. <laughs> yes, please, in the comments, root for the sim that you want to win. Um, say their name or whatever, you know, their occult type is, if you would like. But please, encourage the sim that you're rooting for in this moment. <laughs> Go, everyone. I'm just everyone's cheerleader. <laughs> She's not a fairy. Nah, she's, I mean, she's dressed as a fairy, but she doesn't have any perks. Um, since the Sims does not have fairies yet. So she's not, she just, she's a mermaid, mainly. Her occult type is mermaid. She's also just, you know, half fairy. But that does nothing for her. <laughs> Ooh, Elphaba seems kind of popular in the chat. Not gonna lie. I see a couple different people rooting for Elphaba. Vladdy Daddy has my heart. Christine, you you, you might lose him. <laughs> I have a feeling as soon as this sun starts coming up, Vladdy Daddy's going to be out. <laughs> I, especially if Vlad gets sentenced to the pit, he's out quick. He has no escape from the sun. So Vlad needs to do well in all of these competitions because if he is sentenced to the pit, that is basically a death sentence for him. All right, I have a couple Sims who seem to have finished... And a couple more sims working so Elphaba hurry up and finish and then we will take a good look at everyone's creations once they're done I'm very excited to see what every sim comes up with um and then after I show you them all you can guys can go ahead and tell me which piece of jewelry is your personal favorite but we're going for price but we will do an honorary beauty beauty poll all right Tragic is still building, I think. Hey, 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 hey. Cora, who said? Who said you could go over here? No, ma'am. Come back. All right, is everybody done working? Let's see. All right, everybody is done. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll start at Elphaba. Elphaba has a very simple piece of jewelry. I can't tell if that's a botched job or she just picked simplicity. Um, I'll be looking at all the prices here in a second as well. Elphaba's jewelry piece. Priced at 98 simoleons. So Elphaba with the first priced at 98 simoleons. Next, we have our alien sim who made a lovely ring. I see she went for a pink base and a pink stone. Actually, I mean, I would say this is pretty cute. Personally, taste-wise, I think she did a, a better job just looking at it than Alphaba, but let's go ahead and see. <gasps> $207. So our alien sim, uh, Venus, is now in first place and Alphaba in last place. 207 versus 98 simoleons. Next, we have the beast. Beastie boy, what you got for us? Yeah, that looks like it was made by a man. We have a very simple ring that is gold and gold. <laughs> it's a man's ring. What can I say? This looks like any dad would pick it off the shelf. But you know, maybe, maybe it's the value of the materials that we're looking at here today. So let's check beast's price range. He's made... 98 so first place is still venus but now um i have two sins tied for the pit so el faba and the beast currently both made a 98 dollar piece of jewelry tragic clown what have you got for us oh uh, i think that's a botched bracelet i think the tragic clown has made for us a botched bracelet i can tell by the mixing of the metals everything's a little off so I think uh, Tragic Clown is probably going to be our last place because that looks like it was botched. <gasps> it's $103! 
So Venus still in first. Tragic has kept himself from the bottom, but Beast and El Fava still tied for last. Somehow, even though Tragic Clown made a botched piece of jewelry, he still did better than them. Patchy, baby, what do you got for us, Patchy? What did you make? <gasps> oh, pa Patchy, I know right now you have Gein's heart in this moment. <laughs> Hoodie Cuz, thank you so much for that Prime resub. Thank you so much. Also, by the way, I don't think we counted resubs last time. I think they had to be either gifted or new. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, by the way. Patchy, I think you did great. Let's see. What's your price? 182. Not good enough to pull us into first place. Our alien sim has still made the best piece of jewelry, which was a very nice ring, I will say. But I'm surprised that Patchy's was not enough. He's not in last, but he's not in first. Now, our mermaid sim. Mermaid sims, you know, they've got a thing for treasure. So I would think that Cora would have been able to do something pretty nice. But you know what? Maybe I'm giving her too much credit. Maybe I'm giving her jewelry uh, too much of a look -sees. Let's see what we got. Once again, along the lines of El Faba, we have a very simple piece of earrings. I don't think they're botched. I think they're just simple. So, yeah, I think they're just simple. Now let's go see. Price at 98. So far we have a three-way tie for last place. <laughs> Flower Bunny, I see you're scared of the beast right now, but what have you done for us? Ow! <gasps> Oh my God, Flower Bunny, that is so you. It looks like, okay, I'm not gonna lie, the crystals that she put in looks like eggs. <laughs> is it just me or does these look like eggs? And it's pastel themed, it's very light colored. It's very Flower Bunny. I think this is a really nice one, if we're gonna be honest. Let's see the price. 135, not last place, but still, no one has been able to beat. Um, our beautiful alien Venus. I don't know. Vladdy Daddy, you were the last person here. Are you gonna go for the first? Or are you gonna go for last? I'm not gonna lie with you, Vladdy Daddy. I don't think you can afford to be in last place. So I hope whatever he did really pulls it out of the water. And I think I got a sneak peek of it earlier when we um, were kind of standing back and watching. So I think already I knew his was stunning because I could see it from afar. He picked a beautiful emerald and what looks to me like gold um, combination. This to me screams Vlad's taste. To me, this, this screams classic vampire, gaudy, big jewels, you know, stuff like that. I honestly, I think Vlad's is one of my favorites. I think Vlad takes my favorite vote, but... Is it expensive enough to take first place? Now, I think we need to beat 203, 207. Was that the number? It was low 200. So he needs to be mid 200 to win this. Or he has to be less than 98 simoleons to go ahead and be in last place. So let's check it out. What has Vladdy Daddy's worth? What is his worth? 148. So Vlad is safe from the pit. But somehow he did not win that. All right, guys, I want you to go ahead and say to me, what was your favorite piece made so far? Also, I have three Sims tying for last place. So I'm going to have to have them all go again. Um, I'm going to have each of these Sims that tied for last place go again. And congratulations, Venus. This was our most expensive piece of jewelry. This beautiful uh, rose ring for the yeah two hundred and seven dollars priced all right i need and the beast has his basic ring yeah and i think what was it cora the one that yep okay so cora i need you to come over here venus i need you to step back congratulations venus you have won the winner's hut so let me go ahead and lock for everyone but venus and then on this door will be lock for everyone but Bonehilda. 
That way, Bonehilda and Venus are the only ones that are able to access the winner's hut. Now, now we're competing for the pit, guys. <laughs> we need a last place. So I'm going to have these three sims that tied for last place go ahead and make another piece of jewelry. And the lowest will still be the one that goes to the pit. And repeating until... Oh, did I tell her to already make a random piece of jewelry? Yeah, it looks like I did. Oops. All right. So she'll finish just a second before they will. All right, go people. Oh my God, the tragic clown's affecting everybody mood, everybody's mood. Anybody that's standing close to the tragic clown is becoming sad. So Beast might be at a disadvantage because tragic clown is making him sad. So that's another thing that's interesting about the tragic clown. He can make anybody around him be sad. The bad part is tragic clown is always sad himself. So hopefully he'll always be able to participate in these competitions. But that is an interesting uh, thing. Anybody that's next to Tragic Clown is put at a disadvantage. And they're going to create, I think this time they're going to create better pieces of jewelry because they have a little bit more skill in the jewelry making process. <gasps> Princess Ice has gifted five subs, which means Princess Ice, you have the option of having two sims of your choice woohoo, or are you going to be adding an additional sim to the pit? So depending on your answer, I'm going to wait until these guys are done making their perspective jewelry, um, which they are all done now. So Princess Ice, I'll be looking for your answer. If you want to make two sims woohoo, tell me that now. Um, but if you want to add another sim to the pit, wait until we figure out which sim has to go to the pit. All right. El Faba has made... Oh, she took some inspiration from Vladdy Daddy. I think she just looked over and uh, look at, at what he did. So this is the piece that El Faba made. Honestly, gorgeous. I can tell why El Faba and uh, Vladdy Daddy are married <laughs> in my game uh, because they made the exact same thing now. Next, we have Cora. Cora, what's your piece? Okay, Cora took some inspiration from the from the flower bunny. She also made what to me now looks like eggs <laughs> in a bracelet. And Beast has made Oh, Beast made a I think this either is a botched piece of No, it's not botched. I don't see mixing metals. I think he just made some simple earrings. So, let's go ahead and take a look. What's the value of everybody's stuff? Um, Princess Ice wants to add the creepy clown to the pit. Okay, so whatever Sim lost this challenge and the creepy and tragic clown will be both going to the pit because Princess Ice has sponsored tragic clown to go to the pit with her five subs. So two Sims will be making it to the pit. All right. Okay, so El Faba has made a jewelry priced at $149 or $48. Our mermaid Sim, Cora... 189 Smolian. So El Faba currently has the lowest piece of jewelry. Now Beast, Beast, you don't look confident. I'm I'm gonna be honest, Beastie Baby, you you don't look like you think you're gonna win here. But let's see. Beast made another $98, which means the Beast is going to be heading to the pit along with tragic clown because once again princess ice has gifted five subs to twitch um making it so the tragic clown also has to squeeze down here into the pit with the beast now hopefully the beast does not uh kill the tragic clown <laughs> he's already kind of sniffing him out though so it's not looking great for tragic um, but in the meantime, once again, congratulations goes out to our alien sim, Venus. You will be going ahead and going to the winner's hut. Congrats. Oh gosh, hold on. Let me just destroy all these. And I'll be turning free will back on and we will be going ahead and starting the, ver the first death sim challenge in the next. <gasps> oh, I need to turn. <gasps> oh no, I need to turn motive decay down. Please hold. Sim Command Center, Game Mods, Gameplay Settings, Motive Decay, uh, Sim Motive Decay. That should be now at, let's put it back to 100%. And I need to do that for Vampire too, because I changed that. I'm glad I thought of this now. So Motive Decay is now set to normal, because I, I always put it at half. 
because things always it goes down too fast. So in the next 12 sim hours, we're going to be looking at what we're doing. So at 1 p.m., 1 p.m., I'm going to be taking the pit sims out. Or whenever their needs start to get really bad, then I'll be taking them out. But in the meantime, these sims will now get to go ahead and enjoy some downtime, take care of any needs. And uh, in the next 12 sim hours, we'll be going on and moving to our death challenge. So here's where it's interesting to see alliances formed. Also, I'm very nervous that uh, that Vladdy Daddy is going to be caught out in the sun and just die. So I'm curious if Vlad will be the first sim to die or if he'll make it. Maybe he'll make it. Oh, Vlad is turning on music immediately. Probably ready to get a dance party going, it sounds like. Can Sims be offed by it to being attacked by a werewolf? No, I don't think so. I'm just being funny, but okay. Flower Bunny is standing immediately in front of Vlad, taking all the musics to herself, so. Bone Hilda is our butler sim. She's acting as a butler sim. She'll, she will be taking care of sims. Now, when the sims start getting hungry, um, that's when I'm going to go ahead. And, oh, Venus is already using the winner's hut. Way to go, Venus. Take advantage. Take advantage of that winner's hut. You deserve it, sweet pea. You deserve this. Oh, okay. Looks like Venus is heading out to go talk to Cora, maybe to form a little bit of an alliance. Um, Bone Hilda, let's make sure all the bills are paid. That way we have power still. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh um for, no disney princess challenge is not over i just didn't get it completely set up over the holiday weekend so we decided to do a hunger games until i can get it back on track so i should be returning to the disney princess challenge on friday um because hunger games usually takes two streams uh, those of you that are watching me on TikTok right now, I'm also live on Twitch. So if you'd like to see the entire screen, be able to vote on all the polls and do special challenges and like basically just go to Twitch, which is a better experience. If you want to participate in the polls, uh, be able to save some Sims lives, do all of the above. Twitch is the place to go do that. So there's a link in my TikTok bio that would take you straight on over to Twitch if you're interested. Twitch looks just like TikTok and YouTube. All you have to do is make an account and that's it. Um, you don't have to pay for anything. So. Oh, yeah. Pretty good time. If you come over to Twitch, let us know in the comments. That way we can welcome you to our club. In the meantime, Bella Boo, thank you so much for the follow. Bonita, thank you for the follow. Hayden, thank you for the follow. And Ruby, thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Shady Daughter, thank you so much for the Twitch follow as well. Blood Pixie Girl, thank you so much for the eight month resub. And Hoodie Cuz, thank you so much for the four month resub. And once again, Princess Ice, thank you so much for gifting five subs and being able to sponsor a sim of your choice. Bella Boo, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. We, uh, I cannot wait to see you over here. And if TikTok ever goes away, <laughs> might as well follow me on Twitch. That way you never uh, lose any of my challenges because I will still always be going live on Twitch. Aliens Among Us. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I, I wonder if our mermaid sim is going to be going out. Oh my gosh, I need to lock the gate. Allow access to... No, um, I need to lock for everyone. Because I don't want NPC sims wandering in on my lot and trying to save my sims or bring them food. I hate that when they do that. So, <laughs> gonna have to be on the lookout for that. Also, I can go ahead and destroy these chairs because we don't need these introductory chairs anymore. All right, guys, the sun is coming up now. So, Vladdy Daddy, this might be your time to just oh. just stay inside. <laughs> ah, kangaroo. All right, how you guys doing down here in the pit, Beastie Boy? Looks like you're glaring daggers into the back of Tragic, and Tragic is looking around very nervously, but Tragic has decided to distract himself by playing some Blick Block on his phone. So, seems like these two guys are doing okay. Let me check their moods. They're still pretty high up in the green there. Still pretty high in the green. Once again, did I? I don't have to reset my game to, uh... Yeah, no, I don't have to reset my game for the mode of decay. Should go down normal still. He's flirty. Oh, Tragic Clown, you might need to be careful in a different way. Beast is flirty right now, and he's kind of right behind you, so... <laughs> you might need to be careful for other things, Tragic. Good luck to you. <laughs> oh, the Beast is flirty. Oh, he's sniffing you. He's sniffing you, Tragic. He's taking a whiff. 
You might be careful. I've seen those werewolf books that are all over my TikTok. I know what they got. Ah! Look at Vlad and Elphaba. Are they married? Are they married, am I? Yeah, they're married. Oh, but they hate each other. <laughs> they hate each other, but also she loves him. So it's a love-hate relationship between El Faba and Vlad, which is really interesting. So maybe El Faba, I don't know, maybe she could try and kind of get rid of him. Or she could, you know, love him enough to try and keep him. I don't know what's going to happen there. Looks like uh, Sims are starting to intermingle themselves more. Vlad is continuing the dance party inside. Probably safer for him, honestly, to uh, keep himself inside. Um, but him and Flower Bunny... They seem to be having a good time together. I don't know. I'm, I'd be kind of worried if I were Vlad. <laughs> oh, I read those books. I know, right? We love a good fantasy spicy novel, right? Looks like Patchy is out here wetting his pumpkin up, taking a nice little dip, maybe working on something for the first death challenge. I don't know. How you guys? Oh, they're facing each other now. Oh! Oh no! What's happened to my pit boys? Gr <laughs> tragic is making the beast cry, and tragic is also trying to. Oh, oh. beast has got a beast has got a hold of his apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way I stopped that did look really bad, but like. <laughs> No, tragic. I know you want to. You want to try and be the best clown. You want to try. Oh, Beast is getting a little enraged though. Beast is starting to get angry. I don't think he was impressed with his juggling skills. <laughs> it's a boys' club. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna do in the pit, but they can either keep. Oh, Beast is very angry now. He is very upset now, and Tragic is feeling happy right now, which is interesting. But, uh, I don't know. I'm so curious if, they, if they're gonna... Oh, no! Beast is brokenhearted! Why is the beast brokenhearted? Oh, Sims hate Beast! Everybody hates Beast except Tragic Clown. Tragic Clown and Venus and Bone Hilda are the only Sims that like the Beast. Everybody else is scared of him and hates him. Uh, obviously, the werewolf and vampire Sims hate each other, so Vlad and Beast are enemies right now. Looks like they're still having quite a good time inside. Let me go ahead and check on those moodlets. Seems like... Vlad, how are you keeping everything up? Oh my god, Vlad can only sleep in coffins. Oh, Vlad, that's kind of bad for you. Huh. Drobus Varric. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up real quick. I wonder if the mode of decay is going as it should. Oh God, tragic keeps trying to juggle and it's not going well. Let me double check and make sure this is going down. Um. Gameplay settings, gameplay, mode of decay, sim mode of decay percent. 100 equals normal. Okay. I do wonder if I have to reset it though to make it go. Because it doesn't feel like the mo uh, mode of decays are as creeping. Are going down as fast as they normally do. But it hasn't been 12 sim hours yet, so I don't think I can complain too much. Oh, Elfaba had to go to the bathroom and Patchy kicked her out. See, this is why sharing sucks. <laughs> Everybody just really hates Sad Cloud, which I find so sad. <laughs> like, why are you gonna hate on him like that? Ooh, is Elfaba out drinking? Somebody making food? Ah, uh, bone hit. Oh! Cora made uh, waffles. Oh, this must have been pre-stream. Here, let me destroy that. 
All right, Venus is helping herself to some food. Now, Venus is the only Sim, besides Bonehilda, the butler, who can help themselves and make themselves food. All the other Sims rely on food to be delivered to them. Also, oh, this spo spoils in one hour. I'm just going to delete it then. Let's see. How is everybody else doing? All right, the beast is just now starting to get kind of hungry. And so is um, Sunny. So I think those needs are finally going down for them. No, sorry. Tragic can't hang out now. How does Tragic know such a pretty girl? Yeah, Beast is pretty pretty angry right now. And he is really... Beast is really torturing the Tragic Clown. Because Beast... Oh, oh. Beast is very much torturing the Tragic Clown in here. And now Beast is... Snuggling up to Sonny's leg, and he just peed in front of them. So, oh, it, nope. Okay, he's still kind of chomping on his leg and peeing again. Oh, okay. Apparently, he's not done. He's kind of an old man right now. He's kind of got to start, stop and go, stop and go. He's just continuing to pee all over him and just howl and terrify Tragic Clown. They now absolutely, oh, oh gosh. Oh, Tragic. I'm so sorry, you're stuck in there with Beast, honey. That's not a fun time for you. <laughs> oh no. It's just some love bites. Oh no, Beast, you're scary. Oh, he keeps marking his territory. He keeps peeing all over the place. <laughs> Beast, why? Why are you gonna do this to Tragic like that? Vlad, are you staying indoors? Yeah, Vlad is staying in the same spot. He's doing pretty okay for himself. Actually, you know, Vlad, he could, if he wanted to, drink from some other sim. So I'm wondering if Vlad starts to get hungry. Go on. Does he just drink from another sim? I don't know. Viva de so. Viva de so you're no varo. Oh, Ulak. So some sims are starting to get hungry, but their other th needs seem to be doing well. I'm just going to save and exit and then come back to the game because I don't know if the mode of decay needs a game reset. It didn't say it did, but to me it just doesn't seem like it's going down fast enough. So I'm saving and exiting real quick. I'm just going to load back into the game um, because I just want to make sure that decay is going as fast as it needs to. I don't want it to go too slow because then things will take longer. And when things take longer, y'all don't like that. So shouldn't take two seconds, but to load back into the game. What's the current challenge? We are currently doing the Hunger Ga Sims 4 Hunger Games Challenge Occult Edition this time. Hayden, thank you so much for the follow. Ruby, thank you for the follow. Oh, I think I said that earlier. Sorry, Rob, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Abby, thank you so much for the follow as well. Bella, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. I can tell you were the Bella Boo from earlier, right? Did you say something when you came in? Let me see. Let me scroll up. Oh, Col Coley, Coley Sal. Kalisa, Kalisa, I'm so sorry I butchered your name. But thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch from TikTok. Welcome to our club, Coley. Coley, Coley Sal? Coley Sal? Coley, I'm gonna call you Coley. Coley, thank you so much for that follow, by the way, as well. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Princess Red Princess Ice redeemed a hydrate. Pinkies up. Alright, and we'll resume. There. Didn't take too long. Someone took Bella Boo, so I had to improvise. Uh no, that completely works. I know exactly who you are. Oh no, are my sound alerts broken? You know, my PC, uh, my other tower did bust the other day. It was refusing to turn on. So Max had to reboot it. So that might be why. So if my sound alerts, Manders, I'm so sorry. Um, if that didn't work, I apologize. I'll have to, uh, 
make a mental note that those didn't work this time. So I'll have Max look at them before next stream. Let me just go ahead and text him real quick. months thank you so much <laughs> thank you sweetheart all right back to where we should be now hopefully mode of decay goes down as fast as it needs to all right i'm gonna fast forward time so i said at a 1 p.m <gasps> oh no why did you transform no 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 for the whole werewolf thing buddy you have to stay a werewolf so anytime the beast turns back to a human, I'm just gonna have him go back into beast form um, because I want him to stay a werewolf for the entirety of this challenge. Because werewolf, I mean, what where, what kind of werewolf is he is if he's turning back to a human all the time? Not that fun. How am I gonna tell you to save now? Uh, spam that save emote. <laughs> By the way, I don't help my Sims do anything Unless I see if they're stuck. Like, I might reset them if I think that they're stuck. But I don't tell them to... T oh, Cora's kicking her out because she wants to shower. Oh, Cora kind of needs that. She needs that hydration. I'm surprised she just didn't go swimming. Wait a sec. Where's your tail? Where is your tail, Cora? Where's your tail? I'm sorry, I'm gonna tell her to do something real quick first. I know I just said I don't tell them to do things, but I'm genuinely curious why her tail didn't come out. Cause she is a vampire, or is she is a mermaid. It is reading like she needs, wait a sec, is she? <gasps> Where's your tail? She left her tail at home. No, where is your tail? You are a mer you are a mermaid. I saw that. Mermaid. Where is your tail? Does anybody else's mermaids ever do this to them? Mine always do. Like sometimes they just don't want a mermaid. Call commands. Show mermaid tail. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's one way to show your mermaid tail. But I don't think that's gonna matter. All right, well, hopefully she figures that out for herself later. Looks like Venus is just sitting here having a good time doing nothing in the community tent, even though she has access to the winner's tent. Seems like she's uh, having too much fun in here though. The only thing she's uh, low on is her energy. So hopefully she does good. She's an imposter. I hate it when my, my freaking one simps don't do what they need to do. All right, it looks like everybody is finally starting to get hungry. So I think at 6 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and put food out and release the pit. And then at 8 p.m. we're gonna have the first death challenge. I think that's how we're gonna do things tonight. So Vlad might actually make it, because just now people are starting to get hungry and stuff. And usually I like to wait until I put the food out, and then after that we do the death challenge. Sorry, I'm going to save every now and then just to make sure my game's loading up good. Yeah, I know, that's the part that weirds me out, is why does it say hydrine and not hydration? But she does have a mermaid thing. So I don't know either. You know, I wonder if I've got... No, I can't do that either. Because we have nine sims in this house. Maybe I can later. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I have to have Bone Hilda make a meal for them. Oh, no. Bone Hilda. Oh, God. I'm, I'm glad you're right in front of this. What is a waffle faster? Cook. Waffles. 
Hurry up, Bonhilda, as soon as the food... Okay, as soon as the food that Bonhilda makes is ready. Okay, maybe I'll put the food out at 8 p.m. <laughs> Making waffles is pretty fast, though. Hey, 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 check the waffles out! You're, you're just... No! No! Turn them out! <laughs> Bonhilda! <laughs> you're not doing a very good job. I'm glad none of you have gifted 10 subs because you'd be the crappy freaking Bonhilda right now. All right, please grab a serving. No, stop! Put it down. Where did the plate go? Where did you just put the plate? Okay. Please go grab a serving. Now, when I go to put out food, I do not care where sims are standing. I don't play to, like, wait until a sim is in a certain area. No. I just have them get the things... And I put out the food when I say I'm going to put out the food. So I'm going to put it out as soon as she's got all those plates. All right, I'm pausing the game. And I'll be placing all of the food out on the counter over here. I put the food out in the same place every time. It always is put out over here. Now, at this point, it is first come, first served. So I'm going to give Sims until... Not quite 9 p.m. I'm going to give Sims until 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, before I um, put the food away. So if everybody's dumb and doesn't come eat the food, that's their fault. Now, I'm also releasing my pit Sims, so hopefully their first move is to go get some food. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see who is going to be the first ones to come take a bite of this food. Oh gosh, I can't watch The Sims's time. So. <gasps> Flower Bunny, first one to grab a plate of food. Congratulations, Flower Bunny. <gasps> oh my God, Tragic and Werewolf. Er, er, <gasps> Tragic took another plate. Beast, <gasps> Beast, no, you were right there. <laughs> so the plates of food have all been claimed. Beast, you were literally standing there. Are you really gonna spend this time to argue with a vampire? Beast, that's not helping your case. Beast, you could be taking care of any of your needs right now, and you were choosing to waste this time on arguing with Vlad. All right. Well, at uh, 10 p.m., I'm starting the death challenge, so hopefully Beast is not taking care of himself. Tragic is taking care of himself. Tragic ate some food, he put himself to bed, and Beast, what's Beast doing? Socializing. He was right in front of the plates, did not grab the plate. As a werewolf, his hindrance is he chose to fight somebody instead. He chose to argue with Vlad instead of taking care of himself. And he's still. Now he's flirting with the alien instead of taking care of his needs. Alright, he's got one more hour. I hope he decides to do anything with his time. Nope, he's not he's not he's not going to the bathroom, he's not taking a shower, he's not trying to nap on the couch. Beast is doing nothing to take care of himself. Alright, guys, it is now Apparently Patchy and Vlad now despise each other for some reason. So that also happened. But it is time for the first death challenge. So I'm gonna have all of my Sims. Actually, hold on, let me have them form a group. Um, actions, form a group. All right. All sims, please go here together. Where did my diving board go? Wasn't it? It was here at the beginning of stream. Where did my diving board go? Oh, well, that doesn't matter for now. All right, all sims have been gathered. Now I will tell them all to come swim here together. Now, if any sim is too uncomfortable to even get in the pool, I will be turning up their mood slightly. Hey, 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 where are you? Oh, they're freaking out because Beast is turning back to a human. No, Beast, you're freaking people out. Get in the pool. Okay, Beast, get in the pool. Is everybody getting in? No, get in the pool! Beast is making everybody run away! <laughs> no! Everybody get in the pool! 
Flower Bunny, don't you dare. They're running away from me. Okay, I have to turn his enragement down just until I can get everybody to get into the pool. All right, come on, everybody. Just keep coming here. Just keep coming here. <gasps> El Faba! Bad. This is why I hate this with my sims. They never listen. So here. All right, hold on. Autonomy off. Okay, play off. Stop scaring each other. Get in here, Patchy. Don't you dare. Oh, for the love of Pete. I don't care what you do. You just gotta stay in the pool. Stay in the pool! <laughs> Beast. No, don't devour it. Go over here. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna die. Get in the pool! Elfava, where are you at? Like, uh, no! Get in the pool! I'm gonna have a heart attack. Flower Bunny, same as you. Look, everybody come over here. By the gator, if that helps you. Alright, I think everyone is almost in. I just have to get freaking these two in here. Come on! I had them in a group and they all stopped being in the group. Okay, okay. Wait a second. Okay, he's in there. Okay, are all my Sims in the pool? God bless, they're all in the pool. Now we wait. <laughs> Why do my Sims never listen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh no. All right. And now we wait. All right, guys, do you think? I don't know. Whoever you guys said that Vlad might die first, he actually might not. Add a fence so they can't escape. Actually, there's something about the walls of this pool, they can't get up. So there's something about the walls of this pool that don't allow the sims to get up. I don't know what it is, but it's the only pool I've experienced this with. But yeah, once the sims are in and the ladders are gone, they can't get out. I guess I could current autonomy back on, but nah. Alright, I don't know, guys. I'm not going to look at anybody's moods. Because I don't want to cheat and be like, show you guys who's going to actually, like, lose. Because um, you'd be able to tell by whose energy is low. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Hold on, everybody! Still need household needs. What? Did Bunny just die without telling us? Bunny just died without telling us. Bunny said Easter over. Oh, y'all, I'm getting out. Bunny, no! All right, well, I'm going to fill out the prediction. So whoever said that the flower bunny was going down, all 6% uh, all of you, congratulations. That 6% big money winners. Big money winners today. <laughs> oh my god. Well, congratulations. 200k points going to CJ and three other Sims. Oh my goodness. Can I see who those three other Sims were? It just says CJ and three others. Well, 
to the four people that picked that flower bunny would go out first. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> You're amazing. All right, I'm putting their graves down here. So flower bunny is the worst occult to be. Apparently, they're just not great. <laughs> Apparently flower bunny, even though flower bunny was not the Sims in the pit. Flower Buddy has no self-preservation skills and has just decided that that was the end of their run. They were just going to stop there. And let me put the two ladders back in and I will have all sims file out. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> they gave up so fast. <laughs> well, they didn't even notify us. They just blipped into an, an urn. Now I wish I would have looked at their stuff. That way I would have known. <laughs> Form a group. Oh, but not Bone Hilda. All right, all Sims, please report out of the pool. Keep going. Keep going. They always get caught up and then like panic. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, all seven sims are out. Now it's time for the next risk challenge. Let's see. I think for the next risk challenge, another good one for a, no a lot of sims is... Apparently Vlad is making all the enemies today. What's another good one for a bunch of sims? Hmm... Let's do the treadmill. The treadmill's a classic. I just love this one. It's so easy to start with when you have that many sims. And it has a clear, concise, easy to see winner. Those of you that are just joining in, we are playing the Sims 4 Hunger Games Challenge. So I have eight Sims um, who went to head-to-head. -to -head. This is the occult version. So we're seeing which occult in the Sims is the best occult to play as. Um, who has the best chance of living through all trials and tribulations. So I'm going to have them all line up here. I don't get no satisfaction. Everybody, please stand in front of your assigned treadmills. All right, they're all in their swimwear, so they should all change into their different wear at the same time. But since I don't want to risk it, I'm actually going to dress them all in their athletic wear ahead of time. That way, every sim is starting off on the same playing field. So change outfit, athletic. That's your athletic. Dresser change athletic. I love the Sims that I you know their outfit doesn't change. But it does technically. Um, I don't know. I tried looking up and it just would tell me that CJ and four others won um that so i honestly have no idea who the other three were that one oops all right and vladdy daddy vladdy daddy is making a lot of enemies here today all right i'm gonna be resetting tragic clown because he is talking and i don't want that to affect him getting on the treadmill also take a step closer please all right and with that i'm gonna tell them each to do a workout now if they have a different emotion going on that's their thing but i'm telling each to just work out all right guys and with that hopefully all these sims get off on r at roughly the same time Hopefully they all get on. Um, I will be looking very closely to see um, which sim gets off first. So here we're looking for the first sim to get off is the loser. 
the last sim to get off will be the winner. That's what we're looking for here today. We're looking for the first and last sim to get on and off. All right, guys, keep your eyes peeled. Pe peels. Keep your eyes peeled. Help me out here, guys. All right. So, since Cora was slightly delayed, if she gets off last, but uh, she was like a second difference from another sim, I will be point penalizing her another second. So, Cora, if she's one of the second to last, she's getting a, a, a second penalized because she was uh, slower than the other sims to get on and start going. So, our mermaid sim cheated a little bit there, but that's to be expected. There's always one sim. So, let's see how they do, guys. Please, root for your favorite in the chat. Do you think Patchy, Beast, the alien... <laughs> Alien, Spellcaster, Vampire, Clown, or Mermaid is going to do the best in this competition. Please root for your favorites. Thank you. You don't need to know what's going on here. All you need to know is that our sims are competing. Oh, Patchy. Sorry, I was looking at my text because my husband. Oh, no, Patchy, I won't give you the clumsy trait. That would be a disadvantage. Oh, Vlad. <laughs> all right. Everybody, okay, once they fall, they all think they deserve the clumsy trait, and I'm not going to give any of them the clumsy trait. Who's feeling quite confident? We got some people picking up the pace. Cora seems to be doing quite well. Beast is gonna win with his werewolf stamina. Okay. Your fave, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May all your dreams come true. Uh, Salty D's, thank you so much for the. Oh! I gotta go back to the Twitch stream to look. This is what happens when I get back and thank a follower. All right, guys, it looks like Venus was the first sim to hit the ground. Venus was the first to hit the ground, Beast second, and Cora a close third, which means she's brought on par with the Beast. She dipped about the same time that the Beast did, technically, um, if I deduct a second from her. But Venus still was the very first sim. Uh, the alien Venus was the very first sim to get off, which is so funny. She really won the last risk challenge, but this one, she dropped the ball, guys. So Venus is going to be heading to the pit, guys. But now we're going to be looking and seeing here who is going to be our last man standing over here. Salty D's, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. And Max Steel, thank you for the follow. AML, thank you for the follow. Kitty Lover, thank you for the follow as well. It's Eva, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank yous. Patchy's off. Vlad's off. It's down to Tragic Clown and our Spellcaster, El Faba. Clown versus Spellcaster, guys. <gasps> and our Tragic Clown has the best stamina. Where are your pupils, you creepy clown? Where are your pupils? <laughs> So our tragic clown has the best stamina and he has gained immunity and is heading for the winner's hut. So congratulations, tragic. Princess Eyes tried to take you down, but no. He says, uh-uh. So congratulations, tragic. You are now getting that winner's hut and... Venus, I'm so sorry. Venus, our alien sim, you lost. So that means Venus is heading to the pit. And Venus, in you go. Now, this is the time for sponsorships, guys. If you are planning to... So let me remind you guys of the sponsorship programs. I'm going to be turning on full autonomy, letting sims go back to their deal. And I'm gonna get rid of these. So a reminder, you can subscribe or gift subs in order to sponsor a sim of your choice. So one gifted sub on Twitch will give 
You can give a snack to a sim of your choice. So if you think that your sim is hunger is too low, oh my god. Vlad is just now burning. I turned Okay, get autonomy is on now. So Vlad? Vlad? Vlad, you need to get inside. Okay, so he pulled out his umbrella. We'll see if that helps him or not, but Vladdy's biscuits are burning. But he seems to have made it another day. <laughs> And everybody, of course, is relieved that they were not the losers of this challenge and they're having a nice little dance party. But let me remind you guys. Want to get it sub, you can send a snack to a sim of your choice. So once the um, food comes out and your sim, maybe that you want, doesn't grab a plate, I will go ahead. You can also get to sub to give your sim of your choice a snack. Um, if you give three subs, you can make a sim of your choice take care of any specific need. So you can have them bathe, go sleep. Um, so like instance beast was not taking care of himself. Somebody could have get to three subs and made him go take a nap But uh, you know You win some you lose some um, If you get five subs you have two options if you get five subs you can have two subs of your choice to woohoo Because pregnancy in this game is an advantage So if there is a special leading lady around here or or with bone Hilda because I think Bone Hilda is to able to get pregnant, technically. Um, you can have two sims of your choice choose to woohoo. Or you can have another sim go to the pit. So if there is some sim who is surviving out here that you do not want to, you can send them down to the pit along with Venus. And then lastly, if you give 10 subs, you become Bone Hilda. And your name will be put on Bone Hilda. So... Just so you guys know. Vlad oh, okay. <laughs> Daddy has the moves. Look at the beast go with that shoulder swing. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> For those of you that are watching me on TikTok, please, a reminder, if you would like to see the entire screen in the best quality possible, be able to participate in polls, predictions, and other things that could influence how my game is played, please join me over on Twitch. Twitch is my main channel. Um, it works just like YouTube and TikTok. All you have to do is make an account, and you can watch me over there. And it is a much better experience, a lot more fun people over there, so you have a great time. So, in case you wanted to. Princess Ice has gifted a single sub to Mom, Mama Fox. Uh, Princess Ice, what were you looking to do? Who were you planning on gifting a snack to? Is the beast sick? What's all over him? Right now, beast seems to be doing fine. He just seems to be picking a fight with Vlad. Love Better find someone to love from werewolf temperaments. Love is in the air, and Adam Beast is feeling a little frisky. Time to test out those pickup lines. Oh my god, him and Vlad are freaking hanging out. Did you see them just singing together? Let's see. Uh oh, did I miss two steps? <gasps> Lady Rainicorn a minute ago. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Lady Rainicorn. Um Lady Rainicorn and Princess Ice. Who are you guys gifting the snacks to? Princess Ice said snack to Vladdy Daddy. I don't know how that's going to work though. Ooh, I think a snack. For Vlad would consist of maybe a light drink. Only problem, uh, Vlad hates everyone. <laughs> How about a snack work for Vlad, Daddy? Would that be a plasma pack? Do 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 do. Lady Rainicorn, are you giving a snack to Patchy? A plasma pack, yeah. Alright, so you're saying a plasma pack is Vladdy Daddy snack. Plasma. 
<laughs> Bonezilla. Um, I don't think he... Maybe he can. I don't know. Can he drink from Bone Hilda? I don't think she's got blood. Plasma pack. Alright. There is a plasma pack for Vladdy Daddy. And Patchy, you have also, I'm assuming, yes, I would like to give one to Patchy. Patchy has also received a snack uh, sponsored by Lady Rainicorn. So, Bone Hilda, if you could go get a nice little snack out of the fridge. We will give them. I feel like chips are the way to go. We'll give them chips. Bone Hilda, please go get a box of chips for Patchy. All right, Vladdy, did you get your plasma pack? I believe he did. Yeah, he got his plasma pack. There you go, Vladdy. You've been taken care of. All right, thank you so much, Bone Hilda, for grabbing that. Being placed in Patchy's inventory. So here you go, Patchy. Here are your chips. Please enjoy. Noel Star has gifted a sub. Noel, who were you hoping to sponsor? Who are you hoping to give a snack to? Thank you so much for getting a sub to Tawny. Who are you sponsoring? Who are you trying to give a snacky snack to? Alright, I need to stretch and posture check and hydrate. <laughs> Blended Diamond, thank you so much for the follow. Alright. El Faba gets a snack. All right, so Noel has chosen to sponsor El Faba. So let me go get another snack for her. Another thing of chips. Somebody crying over here? Oh no, Cora, why are you crying in the bed, sweet? Oh, it's probably because of Tragic Clown. Tragic Clown is bringing the whole mood of everybody down because he's in here and not in the pit with beasts. So now Tragic is making everyone in the entire house sad. Oh, the downsides of Tragic Clown being able to be around. I mean, advantage for Tragic, though. I mean, he just makes everybody sad and nobody wants to take care of themselves or enjoy themselves or have a good time. So. <laughs> All right, honey, go ahead and eat your chips. He brings my mood down too. <laughs> hey, hey! Y'all could get five subs and throw him in the pit. If you hate him that much, I'm just saying. There is a way to sabotage him. <laughs> Actually, no, wrong. You can't, because he has immunity. <laughs> I forgot he has immunity this round because he won. Never mind, he beat y'all. He bested ya. <laughs> Maverick, thank you so much for the follow, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Brianna, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm also going to get rid of the witness to death thing. Because I don't like to keep that on Sims if they've got it. Apparently the only one that witnessed it was Elphaba, apparently. Nope, nope, and Cora. Other than that, they're only sad because of the tragic clown. How is Moods doing? Elfaba, I hope you enjoyed your little snacky snack. Gosh, 
gosh, they're all sad now. Bone Hilda, thank you so much for maintaining the house and cleaning up as a normal. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Now what are you doing? Oh, she's gonna go feed the sharks. No, I have piranha in there this time. It's not a shark tank, it's the piranhas. I'm a piranha. I'm from the Amazon. I don't think you even let him have a life. <laughs> no, he's fine. I think it's interesting that the beast is out as well because the beast is just intimidating everyone and making them all scared. So I think that's how he played the game though. I think that's how Beast plays this game. <laughs> Argla, Nark Lay. Oh, why is everybody scared? Is it because of the beast? Oh, no, beast! Stop freaking everyone out! Oh, beast is enraged. Oh, great. Now everyone's scared and running away. <gasps> no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. The beast is going to end up killing Vlad because the, the beast scared Vlad out of the house. And now Vlad's standing in the sun. Oh, my gosh. If the beast keeps scaring Vlad... He could make Vlad go outside and burn. Vlad, you gotta find a new place to go, buddy. Beast, you're really freaking everybody out. Do you think there's anything else you could go do right now? Oh, you're gonna intimidate Patch. Oh my gosh, Beast! <laughs> Beast, stop growling at everyone! <laughs> Oh no. Okay, the occult version of the Hunger Games is just. No! Not the radio! And now you're beast! Beast! He went around, he scared everyone when he raged out. And then he intimidated and started yelling at everyone, and now he wrecked their music, and, and then his chair, and now he's, he's, what are you doing? What are you, beast? <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen beast act this bad. Buddy, no! See, this is why I don't put werewolves in my things a lot, okay? Now everyone's complaining. Be oh, El Fab was cleaning up the beast's pee. Oh, now he's running back in. No, stop it! Oh my god, Vlad just ran outside again. Vlad, you have to be careful! Beast! Vlad, Vlad, if you stay out too long, you're gonna die. Vlad, you should go into the bedroom, maybe. Okay. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm not telling Vlad what to do. If he decides to stay outside because he's scared of the beast, that's- Oh my god, Vlad, you're gonna die! <laughs> Alright, uh, how is your- How you doing down there, Venus? Honestly, Venus, you're probably in the safest possible location right now, not gonna lie. Venus, you made a good decision by staying in the pit if the beast and- <laughs> If the beast and tragic were out. Beast, stop being mean to Patchy! Beast, you're, you're ruining the last of your relationships. Just go do something else. And now he's howling. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, you guys are right. I should save. Thank you for the save reminders. Thank you for the save reminders. Stop ruining my chair! Oh my gosh. Everybody, even Bone Hilda's not taking care of her needs. Bone Hilda, take care of yourself. Everybody's too scared to take care of themselves. I don't know, guys. Beast might win this. 
By fear alone. To bow. Huh. <sighs> he needs the timeout, aka the pit. Oh, I think he's over it. Okay. He's lost his rage. He's lost his rage. He's now just a normal beastie baby again. He's back to a nice little... He's all... Oh, he's so playful right now. Beast is having such a good time. Is that Barbie? Oh my god, Barbie! Hi, Barbie. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Barbie, you're a litter bug? Oh, Barbie. What would... But, but Malibu Beach. Oh, Barbie. <laughs> oh, my God. Law, thank you so much for the follow. Rosie Strawberry, thank you so much for the follow. Natty, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank yous. I really appreciate that. Those of you that are over on TikTok, I am also live on Twitch. You'd like to see the entire screen in the best quality possible, plus I'm a lot of a wonderful, amazing community members. Go check me out on Twitch. Best thing you'll ever do, I promise. Lofi, or Lofi, thank you so much for the follow. Maverick, thank you for the follow. Am I go for a ride? Hi, Barbie. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> I'm a Barbie girl. In a Barbie world. You sing it, Bone Hilda. You sing it. Now that the Beast has destroyed their radio, everybody's going to be having a lot less fun. Oh, it's summer break. Well, that's sad. You guys can't do anything about it. Oh my gosh. All right, it looks like Tragic is taking good care of himself, guys. Tragic is taking really good care of himself. Not gonna lie. Um, Venus is in the yellow for hunger, so I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna wait till hunger gets about in the orange for everybody. And then I'll consider having food put out. You know what? Let me also do this. Ten out of decay. Let's change it to 110. And make sure I get vampires too. All right. How you doing down there, Venus? Actually, she seems fine. Honestly, she seems like she's doing okay. Tragic, how do you know her? She is too cute for you. <laughs> He's in the corner trying to hide now. On a bird. Oh, Elf. Oh, there's oh, trouble oh. in paradise. Elf, Fava, and uh, Vlad are, are not doing well. Oh, Beast, are you actually taking care of yourself? Nope, you're crying under the bed. Nope, I thought you were going to sleep, but never mind. You do you, Beastie Baby. You do you. All right, I'm going to put food out at, well, if it's ready, I'm going to put it out by 8. If not, I'm going to have <laughs> Bone Hill to uh, bring it out as soon as she has three plates worth. Okay, I still have waffles. I think I have three servings. Yep, I have enough. Bone Hilda, go get them. Please grab another. And one more. And now the last one's yours. Thank you so much for your service, Bone Hilda. All right. Luckily, they're going to be able to go out right at 8 o'clock. So I am not checking, you know, what sim is where. I'm just putting them out at the time that I said I would. So let me get these three plates. Put them in the same spot I did last time. Beast, I don't know why you're coming over here. You ain't getting nothing. All right, Venus, this is your time to shine, honey. All right, guys, plates are out. I'm going to be keeping them out for two sim hours. Who is going to be the first to come and get them? Oh, hold on. 
Come on, guys. There's only three plates. What sims are going to get them? If they're not grabbed in the next two hours, I'm taking them away. <gasps> Beast, you got a plate. Elphaba gets another plate. There's one plate left. Who's going to be the next one to grab it? <gasps> v oh, Venus headed for the bathroom instead. Venus, you could have had food. Maybe she will still get the food. Maybe she'll pee and have food. <gasps> she peed and had food. All right, so Beast, the werewolf, the alien, and the spellcaster have gotten their food. Tragic is asleep in the bed. Patchy is asleep in the other bed. Cora is out here sleeping in that. And Vlad is sleeping in the stinky bush. All right, at 10 o'clock, I will begin the next death challenge. So Sims have a last, last chance to take care of any needs. And then... It is now time for the death challenge. All right, game options, gameplay, full autonomy off. Now they can't do whatever they want. Um, is a group still formed? Not sure. Actions, form a group. Yep, yeah, add him too. All right, I would like all Sims to meet here. All right, I got two, three, four, five, beast, six, and so, so as soon as beast gets here, we're all ready to go. All right, beast is here. Now, in sim order, I will be having each sim jump into the piranha pool of death. Now, I get this question every time. If you're wondering where you get this little garden pool, this comes with the Get Famous expansion pack. It is called the Exotic Water Garden, if you would like to search it, if you already have the pack. So, this is the Exotic Water Garden. It comes with the Get Famous pack. You can put piranhas and sharks, koi fish, a random assortment of fish, or like wisps. Um, and if your sims jump in it a bunch, uh, they can die. So I'm going to have each sim jump once while watching all the other sims to make sure nobody runs away. And I'm just gonna go straight down the line and then the soon as somebody passes away, that's the end of that. <laughs> all right, Venus, you are up next. Now, does mood play into this? Maybe, but also, so does luck. Beastie baby, you are up. Here. Tragic. Tragic has made it. Patchy, baby. Patchy, you be careful. They might like that pumpkin head of yours. Patchy has made it. Also, I should save, probably. I'm saving. <laughs> <laughs> Experiment, I swear. <laughs> All right, Cora. Cora made it. All right, Vladdy, Daddy, you're the last of this round. Oh, not play. Jump in. All right, I don't know. Do they like vampire blood? That's a thing. Nope, they don't. All right, Elphaba. You're the first to go back in. Round two. Elphaba makes it. Elphaba is now a little stinky, though. Will the piranhas like that, or will that be an advantage of getting him away from her? I don't know. All right. Venus has made it. Beastie baby, you are up. He has made it. Tragic clown. <gasps> Tragic clown has made it, much to a lot of people's disappointment. Patchy, you're up. Patchy has made it. Cora, your turn. Where are you, Cora? Who the heck do you think you are? I didn't even see her slip off. You slip off to go to a bath? Uh, wrong. There. Now you have bad hygiene again. How dare she? 
I can't believe she just did that. And I don't, I didn't even see it. Soul, soul. All right. Everyone has successfully made it through round two. Round three. All right. <gasps> they didn't make it to round three. And spellcasters apparently are targeted by piranhas. So Elphaba is out of the game. The spellcaster class has been cut off. Elphaba is now the second sim to pass. Flower Bunny was our first occult sim to go. Spellcasters are second. Apparently it is not an advantage to be a flower bunny or a spellcaster sim. Thank you. I mean, Elsa, but thank you for at least showing us that you died. Because Flower Bunny didn't even give us that. Flower Bunny just disappeared. <laughs> like they never existed. There. All right. Elfaba. Or sorry, Elstrad, but Elfaba. Thank you so much for playing the game. You were a legend among many. Oh my gosh, it'll be so cute to see there are different types of gravestones too as we go. I mean, Flower Bunny is technically a, a normal occult, so they don't have a special gravestone, but Elphaba is a spellcaster, so she has the special spellcaster urn, which is cute. All right, it is now time for a risk challenge. Let's see, there are six sims. That makes it pretty easy to do. Let's do a nice, friendly ping pong game, right? No, in the end, I'm still gonna have an odd number. So let's not do that. Let's do, I guess no matter what, I'm gonna have a little bit of an odd number. Let's do this. Three, four, five, six. Comfort, chairs. All right, guys, it is time for the next risk challenge. So, would each sim please come take a seat? Getting rid of all of their sadness from watching somebody die. Now the only sadness they will feel is if they are near tragic laugh. <laughs> Can't really help that one. All right, all Sims are here and seated. Now. Change game puzzles. I just want to do a test real quick. All right, yes, I would like each Sim to please put a puzzle on their board. Uh, Stop talking, <laughs> Cora. All right. Now, at the same time I'm going to be starting, I will have them each do a 50-piece animal puzzle. They will each be doing the... Uh, no, don't devour it. No, 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 no. <laughs> they will each be doing the same puzzle. Now, if a sim starts a second or two later, I'm looking at you, Cora, since you like to cheat on the treadmills. We will be taking that time into consideration, but please help me out, guys, in keeping track. 
Okay, it looks like everybody all started pretty much at the same time. Maybe a half a second uh, difference, but I'm not going to hold that against them. So the first sim to finish will be getting the winner's hut, and the last sim to finish their puzzle will be receiving the pit. So help me out, guys, um, and keep an eye out for what sim completes their puzzle first. Looks like Vlad and Cora are finishing their puzzle pretty quickly. Right now, Tragic has the smallest amount of puzzle completed. Vlad and Cora, they both have a pretty good amount. <gasps> Cora got up. Why are you getting up? <gasps> okay, if any Sim gets up, I'm gonna tell them to resume, but that's gonna take time away from her. She basically just handed Vlad a victory. Oh my gosh, Cora, you could have won this. <laughs> Tragic, you're really, you're really, uh, you're really falling behind here, honey. Cora just basically handed that win right on over to Vlad, because I think Vlad had the most puzzle. Oh my gosh, no, Venus has the most puzzle finished right now. Venus might have this. Aliens are pretty smart, though. I'm not surprised. I'm really trying to pay attention right now. Okay, no, I think Vlad has more. No, he has the same amount as Cora. Beast is right up there too, though. Beast is also doing really well. Tragic is still. Pa Tragic and Patchy are really not doing great. <laughs> Vlad is back in the front with Beast short behind. Venus is struggling now. Venus is slowly falling behind. Vlad only has a few more pieces to go, and so does Beast. They are on the same plane. <gasps> Vlad has a piece ahead of Beast. Vlad is a piece ahead of Beast. Tragic. <gasps> Vlad is done! Vlad has completed his puzzle! Congratulations, Vlad! Vlad has finished his puzzle the quickest. Looks like Beast might be a close second. Venus as well. Tragic and Patchy. Honestly, it's a, it's a race for last place now. It is now a race for last place. So far, Vlad is the only person who has completed his puzzle. With a pretty decent advantage, too. Like, everybody else is still going. Venus is second, it looks like. Unless uh, Beast pulls something out, but... Vlad is avenging his wife. <laughs> Maybe they did hate each other, but they were still married. Vlad gets the winner's hut now. And yes, I think uh, when he gets hungry, I will allow him to uh, drink from a sim. Or get... I'll put plasma packs in his room, one or the other. Venus has a nice second here. Patchy, are you working on your puzzle? <gasps> Patchy, you don't give up like that! <laughs> Patchy, buddy, you gotta keep going. Tragic is crying. He doesn't think... Okay, Beast has just now finished. So when Vlad, then Venus, then Beast, and I think Cora will probably get next. And now it's just a race between uh, Tragic and Patchy. Patchy gave up there for a sec. Put the coffin in for a bed. Oh my gosh, that's right. Oh, crap. Okay, Vlad, I'm gonna let you... I'm gonna let them go. Because Vlad, if I make him sit out in the sun, that's putting him at a disadvantage. So, putting full autonomy on Vlad. Congratulations. You now have access over here. Uh, you can get up and go do what you need to do. I'm just saying that you're going to start frying if you don't get up and putting yourself away. I did turn autonomy back on, right? Yes, autonomy is on full. So Vlad, maybe now, maybe now would be the time. <gasps> oh my god. Patchy, why did you give up? Patchy, why did you give up? <gasps> Wait a second. Oh my god, Cora didn't finish either. Patchy, you still have a chance. You still have a chance. Cora didn't finish yet. I thought she finished. She didn't. She gave up again. Come on, Patchy. Cora's messing around. She's not, she's talking to the beast. She's flirting with the beast. Patchy! Patchy! Uh, no, Patchy, you're done for. Sorry. Vlad! I can't help you if you stay out here. All right. <laughs> They're all talking, get up, Vlad! Autonomy is on! You can go! <laughs> Vlad, I can't help you! Okay, Vlad, you gotta go! Go! Get out of here if you wanna live! I can't help you! Vlad! 
like a dummy Flad. <laughs> I told you I couldn't assist you you had to be smarter than that well guys we all knew this would happen apparently we didn't know when but we knew it would happen the next death challenge will continue as scheduled <laughs> <laughs> Vlad, why? <laughs> Alright, well, Patchy, by the way, you gotta go to the pit, buddy. Which means, um, the winner's hut will now be... Well, no. Pull this... Okay, guys, I need you guys to do a poll for me. Does Venus get the winner's hut now, or does no one get the winner's hut? Because Vlad secured the winner's hut for himself. He did win it. But... But now, I mean, so here's the poll. Does Venus get the winner's hut? Yes or no? No one gets it. All right. Poll's going out now. You guys have oh, a poll is already active. Oh, some one of my mods already threw it up. Look at them. <laughs> Thank you, one of my mods who went and put that up for me. Thank you. I didn't even see that you guys had it. Tyler Lynn, thank you so much for that 16-month resub. Well, I was having a horrible money, and this just cheered me up. Your streams always make me happy. Tyler, I'm so glad to help you out no matter what. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for the resub. I always appreciate it, as always. And I'm glad I could give you a little sparkle on this Monday for you. <coughs> Audrey, thank you, thank you so much for that follow. <coughs> Dan Rolls, thank you so much for the follow. Lofi, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh my god. Um, sorry, for those of you that are on TikTok, polls only go up on Twitch. So, chill, chill. Brittany, you don't need to spam. <laughs> Brittany and Savage, you don't need to spam. Polls are only available on Twitch. And Twitch said, no one gets the winner's hut. So, no one will be getting the winner's hut. <laughs> Patchy will be going to the pit. Patchy, oh my god, they're all either happy or they're... Venus is the only one that's really sad about this. All right, Patchy still gets the pit, though, because he was the last one to finish his puzzle. But everyone else... Uh, they just get the, uh, the common grounds. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta add. And Vlad, in the end, Vlad just could not go on. <laughs> Brittany, I'm sorry that's unfortunate for you by the way, but Twitch is my main my main platform, so if I pulled if I pulled on both accounts, uh, I would get opposing results all the time and it wouldn't work. So I only do polls on one. And since Twitch is where I make my money and I get paid and they are the ones who hire me, that's where I'm at. And Twitch is free, so it's not like you couldn't just download it. So mm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your night. All right, Bone Hilda, are you still? Ooh, Bone Hilda and Grim are getting kind of familiar. They're chatting it up over here. Venus is sad. She's gonna go cry over there. Um, Beast is sad because he's around. 
All right. I can't believe we're already down to this many Sims. I was not, I mean, I knew it was going to happen to Vlad at one point, but I thought he would have the brains to get over there. No, this fairy, it's, uh, her wings are just CC. I download a lot of custom content and such. So she's technically a mermaid sim. I just have her as a mermaid fairy. Um, because, I don't know, I thought that was cute. So she's not technically a fairy. She's a mermaid. I just give her wings because, I don't know. I thought a mermaid fairy combo was cute. So she doesn't have a, a fairy advantage or anything like that. Let me see. <laughs> Does she have a mermaid tail? Because she has not been whipping it out. So let me see. She still has a technically a mermaid form, and she has her mermaid tail in cast, but she will not bust it out in game. I don't know why she's not, because she has a big old mermaid tail. That's also CC, by the way. Um, so I don't know why she's not using it. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> she looks like Bloom from the Wings Club. I used to watch that show very little. I've only ever seen a couple episodes, and I wish I would have watched it more, honestly, as a kid. But for some reason, I just never knew when it was on. I think I heard at some point they will be putting uh, fairies up. That's what I heard. I thought at some point The Sims was hinting that they were going to bring us fairies and cars. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. They hinted at it, but I don't know if it'll happen or not. Did you ever upload yes. Alley Valley to the gallery? <laughs> that, the rhyming of that is really nice. <laughs> Hold on, let me say first, just in case. Tabishitairu. All right. Sekro. Nib Borzi. Aww, look at her beach combing. That's actually really cute though. All right, out of curiosity, I'm just gonna make her go in the pool for a second. Now that I've gone into Cass and maybe you, maybe you remembered you have a tail, will you get the tail? No, gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, get back out of the water. I don't want to make you suffer or anything. She has the mermaid thing. She's got it. I just don't know why she doesn't realize she's a mermaid. I don't know why. It's so odd to me. All right, looks like Venus and Tragic Clown are getting to know each other, which is actually kind of cute. Aw, Ancor is coming out here to chat. Beast is standing off in the sidelines, um, looking very odd. Is everybody chat? No. Patchy, yeah, Patchy can't because he's down here. But it's nice to see that they're all kind of getting along right now and doing a little socialization, except Beast is standing awkwardly, but now he's kind of coming in. Can Kuba Maybe he, oh, oh, he just <laughs> cut <laughs> off Venus altogether. <laughs> oh, okay. Venus, you were good. No, they did not. <gasps> no. Did they really? Are they really? <gasps> Beast! Beast have a way of making this so interesting every time. Oh my god, if Cora gets pregnant, then she has death immunity. Also, bush, 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 <laughs> Gotta get our bush song in there for our bush woohoo, but <laughs> bush, 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 they, f they fly. They flew around. Um, you know, they hovered like kind of a, how a ghost does. They're babies. A newborn baby, you knew if it was a fairy because it would have little speckles of like magic flying around. It didn't have wings, but it would have speckles of magic. And when they were a toddler, they would have wings. 
and they could idly kind of float for a second and then they sit back down because you know they're learning how to use their wings kid sims had wings teen sims had wings and adult sims all had wings if they were a fairy I loved The Sims 3 Fairies. If The Sims 3 doesn't let toddlers and children have wings, I'm going to be so mad. Because I hate how, like, every other occult sim, if they're a child, you don't really see. You don't really see, you know, them being a cult until they're at least a teen. So I hope they include child sims in the fairy thing. All right. I'm gonna be keeping a close eye out on her now because I'm so curious if they tried for a baby or if they were woohooing. Oh, great. Okay, Beast is in another enraged mode, so can't wait to see how he goes. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I never wanna see a toddler wolf. Oh my gosh, but the toddler werewolf sims were so cute. Beast, no! Beast, you just ruined the bed. <laughs> what do you have against the chairs in this house? Why the chairs? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now what are you? Oh yeah. He's so into Cora. Where's Cora at? Oh my gosh, she's over here, but she's being seduced by the beast again. Beast? <laughs> He's over here howling and doing body rolls out her. He, Beast is really in. He's really, he's thinking about Korra while he's doing this. He's really into Korra. <laughs> Who just woohooed Beast and Korra just woohooed. I just want to, oh my God, she could take a pregnancy test. Korra. Oh my gosh. Uh, Carlin, thank you so much for that three month resub, sweetheart. Thank you. The beast has read too many book talk books. Oh my god, a werewolf and a mermaid. <laughs> I mean, him and Belle, you know, they just be reading all that. I never take the tests with these challenges, but in the past, if I get. If I get three subs, I'll have her take a pregnancy test. If I get three new subs, I will have her take a pregnancy test right here, right now. That can be your sponsor task by having her take a pregnancy test. You can make her take a pregnancy test. Beast, why you gotta scare everybody? She's not gonna like you. What if she's pregnant with your baby? And you're just like freaking her out the whole time. What's how you you guys hiding in here from Beast? Uh oh, what's happening? Adam and Cora now despise each other. No, you guys were just in love. Oh my God, he's really thinking about. He's dancing for her. He's feeling frisky. He's so into Cora. Look at him dancing for her. Danielle, thank you so much for the follow. Juicy, thank you so much for the follow. Nessa, thank you so much for the follow. Beast. <gasps> no. Beast, you want her so bad. He's in, he's in a rage and all he's doing is thinking about Korra. Oh my gosh, is he out of his rage? Okay, Beast is finally out of his rage. By the way, Patchy, how are you doing down here, Patchy? All right, their needs are getting into the yellow. So maybe at five, maybe at 6 p.m. I'll start having Bone Hill to make up some food. At 6 p.m. I might have her start making up some food. Looks like some other needs are starting to get low for everybody. So yeah, at 6 p.m. I'll have Bone Hill to start making up some food. And then as soon as that food is ready, I'll have it uh, dipped out. BC boy needs to apologize to Cora. If he wants to, he can, but I can't make him. I cannot make Beast do anything. Beast would be happy to have a child, by the way. That's his freaking moodlet. Mm. Trying to see. I'm really curious to look. 
different. Does he, is he like a faded mate with Korra or something? They have good compatibility, but she despises him now. Interesting. Beast, who are you about to play? Oh my God. <gasps> Ginger Key! Ginger! Hi, honey! Thank you so much for gifting five subs. Ginger, what were you hoping to do with those five subs? Um, Ginger, people who gift five subs have the ability to have two sims of your choice, woohoo. Or you could pick a sim to put in the pit, which at this point I would not recommend. Or did you want her to take a pregnancy test? Because I'll also loot that in for you. Let me know what you wanted to do with yourself, Ginger. Do you want her to take a pregnancy test? Have two other sims woohoo of your choice? I can choose. Oh, all right. So Ginger said it's up to me. But you know what? I'm going to leave it all up to you guys. Do we have two sims woohoo? Do we have Let me see. Um, do we have a sim go to the pit, which I don't recommend because we're about to pull things out? Or do we have a preg test? You guys, let me know. Poll is up now. You guys have 60 seconds to go ahead and, and vote. AML, thank you so much for the first time chatting. What do you guys want to do? Ginger has left it up to us. So Ginger's gift to all of you is uh, you guys get to decide what to do with those five subs. Once again, Ginger, thank you so much for gifting those five subs and letting everybody have the choice of what we wanted to do. That's very sweet of you. Uh, Shampoodles, thank you so much for that follow, by the way. Chanel Bell, thank you for the follow. Uh, oh my gosh. Just Cuz, thank you so much for the follow. Anna, thank you for the follow as well. Tate, or Tatian, Tatiana. Thank you so much for that follow and that prime sub. If you can't see the poll, refresh the stream and it might be able to bring it up. Twitch has been having some issues with sometimes people not being able to see it. So if you refresh the stream, sometimes it brings it up. But I don't, I don't know what the issue is going on with Twitch right now. I know how some people are having issue. All right, you guys have picked or two sims to woohoo. I will start by asking Ginger, do you have a preference on which sim? Would you like to pick both sim, one sim or no sims? Ginger, I'm gonna leave that up to you first since you were the one that gifted the subs. Is there a specific sim you would like to try for a baby with another sim or do you just wanna have one of the sims involved? Like, do you wanna pick what girl it is or what guy or whatever like that? I'll leave that up to you. Ginger says no preference. Okay, guys. Let me see. Let me pull this out. What do we want to do here? Is it going to be, let's see. I want to see some suggestions. What, what couple mix up do we want to see? Cora and Beast again, really nail, <laughs> really nail in if they're going to be uh, having that baby or not. All right, I have everybody set up. Go ahead and vote, guys. Cora and Beast, Venus and Patchy, Tragic and Venus, Tragic and Cora, or Beast and Venus. Those are your options, guys. What do you want? <laughs> Who would you like to, me to do the woohoo slash try for a baby with? Probably a try for a baby. Because Risky Woohoo used to be at 80% before I think I fixed it. So if they refuse to have Try for Baby, then I'll just make them do a Risky Woohoo. Uh, but if they accept Try for Baby, they'll try for a baby. Uh, 
Ugh, y'all are gonna make me get Patchy out of the pit for this? I don't wanna have to get him out. <laughs> And you guys have voted Venus and Patchy. Ah, I gotta get Patchy out. Congratulations, Patchy. You have, for the most part, been spared. <laughs> Luckily, him and Venus seem to have a decent relationship with each other, but I have to cheat it just for a sec. And Venus was napping, so you guys made me ruin her nap. So Patchy could come over here and ask. So I'll ask for them to try for a baby. If try for a baby doesn't work, then we'll just do a simple woohoo. <laughs> try for a baby, not successful. So a risky woohoo instead. Will that accept? Oh no. They just want to take care of their needs. Ooh. Come on, guys. All right, they will woohoo. Try for a baby they refused on, but they woohoo. Uh -huh. They took that. But there is still a risky percentage. So don't worry, there is still a chance that Venus could also be pregnant now. Pineapples, Allison, Juicy, thank you so much all for the follows. Herman and thank you. Herman, Herman Ann, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I will take this as Patchy's chance to be out of the pit now. I'm going to have Bone Hill to go ahead and make a meal for everybody and get these guys out of here. Come on, Bone Hill. What are we going to make? Mac and cheese for everybody? That sounds good to me. Do a nice little family size. All right. Oh, I forgot. Bush, 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 Patchy is taking the bed, uh, or not Patchy, sorry, Tragic is taking the bed. Cora is sleeping in here. Mermaids have a distinct advantage in that they can sleep in water. So Cora always has a place to sleep. In the meantime, um, Patchy is going to talk to the beast and Bone Hilda, are you done? Sweet. All right. I need two servings. So I'm only putting out two servings of food now. Because we are down to one, two, three, four, five. We're down to five people, so I will only be putting out two servings of food. I'm not paying attention to where anybody's at. I'm just putting the food out now that it is ready. Princess Fireball, thank you so much for gifting us up to Sorbity. Princess Fireball, was there a purpose to your gifted sub? Were you hoping to gift a snack to somebody? Um, I'm going to put the plates out and see who takes them, but then you can make your decision as to who you want to give a snack out to. Let me save, because you guys are yelling at me to save. But Princess Fireball, let me know what you want to do. If you're going to give somebody a sub, I'd probably wait to see who's got the food first. Beast is going to mash that pumpkin for messing with his girl? Oh my gosh. Patchy was the first one to take a plate, guys. Patchy was the first one to take that plate. Now, I have the other one out. The other one is going to... Oh, and Beast. Beast took it. All right. Uh, Fireball, what was your... Oh, no, sorry. Was that Fireball? Right? That was Fireball. I've already lost my mind. Yeah, Princess Fireball. Who are you going to give a snack to? Beast and Patchy have taken the mac and cheese. Beast is sitting and watching Patchy eat his food as he aggressively eats his. 
And Princess Fireball has sent a snack. It'll be rewarded to Cora. So thank you so much for gifting and sponsoring a sim. Um, let's go ahead and give Cora a little thing of chippies. Bone Hilda, if you will. Thank you. Chips are being placed in Cora's pocket. And Cora, you may go eat your snack. You're gonna have to get out of the water to do that. <gasps> Chosen! Chosen, sweetheart. What, uh... You have gifted five subs, so that means you can either have two sims of your choice, woohoo, or you'll pick an additional sim to add to the pit. Were you going to carry that over, and after the next risk challenge, were you going to pick to add another sim to the pit, or did you want to have two sims, woohoo? Let me know what you wanted to do. Woohoo slash try for a baby, depending on what they accept. Chosen. Also, once again, thank you so much for gifting us up. Uh... That was so very sweet of you. So let me know what you were planning on doing. Anybody who received a gift from Chosen and Princess and whoever also gifted you a sub, please make sure you say thank you. Yes, that's why there's an advantage to Sims getting pregnant. If they're pregnant, they can't die. So it is an advantage. Oh no. Usually if I do pregnancies though, I make it so they only are pregnant for a single day. Crap. I'm gonna have to change that. <laughs> That's chosen. Chosen has said she wants two sims to woohoo slash try for a baby, depending on what they accept. Um, and that is Venus and the Beast. So I'm going to have Venus and Beast go ahead and either try for a baby or woohoo. Whatever they accept to do. I do need to edit their relationship for a second for them to be able to probably accept that at the best chance. So I'm going to have Beast. We'll ask them to try for a baby first. If that doesn't happen, um, I'm going to have them... Uh, woohoo. Okay, she rejected the try for a baby, but she accepted the risky woohoo. So risky woohoo. They was they still have a chance to get pregnant in a risky woohoo. But there they are. Bush 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 Oh, everybody's desperately trying to get everybody pregnant. All right. It is now time for the death challenge, but there is something I need to do. So, please do not panic as you will be losing sight. For a second, I need to see something. And I don't want y'all spoiled. So movie magic, please hold. If there is a sim out there that is pregnant, I do need to go and change it. So that um, I, need to, I need to resave and reset my game. That way pregnancy duration is only changed to one sim day. And I need to reset my game. Only question now is who? So obviously I had to reset my game. Uh, because to reset pregnancy to only have a duration of one sim day, I have to reset the game. If none of the sims were pregnant, I wasn't going to reset the game. But obviously, a sim was pregnant. So, I had to reset. I will not be saying which of the sims is pregnant, but there was a sim that is pregnant. So. Also, something happened to my, to my life for a second. I don't know what was going on, but yeah. 
Cuddle, thank you so much for um, that 15 sub streak. Thank you so much. Ginger, thank you so much for that one tier sub streak for 21 months. Thank you, or 22 months. So let me go ahead and resume. Twitch hates us today. I don't know. Why don't you want pregnant sims? I do, kind of in the situation. I do want a pregnant sim and I think it is fun. Um, but I wanted to make it fair. I don't want pregnancies to last three days because that could put a sim at a way too but good of an advantage. So when a sim is pregnant in my Hunger Games series, I only make it so that the sims are pregnant for one sim day. So they are only safe for a day. Um, the, so that basically just means they are safe for one death challenge normally. If she times it out perfectly, she could be safe for two death challenges. So, if it was timed out perfectly, then there is a chance that they could be safe for two death challenges. So, I do kind of want a pregnancy because it adds some spice and some funness, but it is, I do have to make sure it's fair. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's do a prediction. Let's do a prediction. Hold on, I want to make sure it doesn't stop first and show you guys. All right, I want to make sure that no one can see if there is anything going on. I don't want to zoom in on a pregnant sim and then it like show a bubble or something. Prediction. Uh, all right, let me get that set up. Which sim is pregnant? Cora, Venus, both, or none? I will give you guys one sim minute to make your prediction. One sim minute, one, one real minute. Predictions are up. You guys have one minute to go ahead and cast your prediction. I'm gonna keep it zoomed in on uh, Patchy. That way uh, no hints are given just in case. Trying to make sure Venus and Cora are both not in frame. <laughs> One sim minute, I'm crying. I didn't mean to make it so a minute. I meant a human minute, a real person minute. <laughs> oh, I gotta run away. They were going in on a sim. The, it was one of the female sims, so I want to make sure I stay out of view of the female sims as to make sure no hints are given until those are posted. Reminder, for those of you that are watching on TikTok, I post all predictions, polls, all of those posts. They go to my Twitch channel because Twitch is my, uh, they hire me, so they get all the fun stuff. So if you're watching on TikTok, while well, watching on TikTok is great, Twitch is better. It's more funsies. More people and a greater time. <laughs> <laughs> so I highly recommend switching on over to Twitch. There's a link in my TikTok file that will take you straight to Twitch. Twitch, Twitch works just like TikTok and YouTube. All you have to do is make an account. That's it. You don't have to pay for nothing. Just your email and a password. That's it. Um, you can see the entire screen in a better quality. Everything is much crisper, better. I promise it's a way better viewing experience. I've had many people that followed me on TikTok in the first place, but they switched to Twitch and they have stayed there ever since. Because I promise it's better. So. Learn from everybody else. Learn from the 120 to 150 people that have been in on Twitch. <laughs> it's much better over there. <laughs> All right. And it looks like the poll. Looks like the prediction is over. So I'm not so scared. Looks like Patchy is asleep. Bone Hilda is <laughs> feeding the piranhas. Venus is taking a swim. Beast is sleeping on the bathroom floor, I guess. Tragic has got the bed, so that's going nice for him. Patchy's over here, and Cora is going out to take a dip in the pool. And it, they've eaten food. It is time for the death challenge. Oh, which one do I want to do? So we're down to one, two, three, four, five. We're down to five sips. What death challenge are we doing here? Hmm. Done that one, done that one. I don't want to do that one yet. All right, I have an idea. I know which one I'm doing. Oop. 
actually, no. I need it. This big. Two, three, four, five. Boop. One. Oops. Two, three, four. Comment below if you know which death challenge I'm about to do. Can you guess which one? I'm just gonna put a general wallpaper down. Do -do 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 -do. I will put a door to each room, that way I can lock them all in. Also, I need to get some lights down here, everyone can see. Like so you guys are saying fire or grill, which is the same thing. Um, but yes, we're doing the grill death challenge. Where each sin will be locked into a small room with a grill. And they will each grill an item until one sim catches fire. And then I will allow all other sims. <gasps> no, maybe I shouldn't. I will not allow all other sims because if the female sim that is pregnant catches fire, she can't die. So. Maybe I will let them run away. Once, okay, once a sim has confirmed caught fire, I will let all the other sims evacuate. But if a fire has been started, but that sim in question is not on fire, I'm gonna put a nice little flammable material underneath all of them, by the way. Um, I will let all other sims run if and when. Oops, sorry, I need to teleport them all. Here we go. Oh gosh, Venus. Teleport here, teleport here. All right, game options, gameplay, autonomy off. Wait, no, autonomy has to be on for this one. I lied. Yeah, they need to have autonomy on. Where's Patchy? Patchy, get out! <laughs> Nope, I lied. All right. Okay, all sims are down. I would like each sim to stand in front of a door, please. Here we go. All right, now you may all enter your rooms. I will then lock the doors behind them. Please get in the room. Okay, thank you. Now, here is where how their hunger is will keep, give them an advantage. Because if they're not hungry, they're not going to grill something. If they're hungry, they're going to grill something. Lock out for everyone. Lock for everyone. Lock for... Uh, oh, not all cats. <laughs> Lock for everyone. Lock for everyone. Lock for everyone all right hopefully they don't walk out okay here we go guys cora was hungry so cora is the first to light her grill followed by venus and tragic where a uh, beast and patchy the scarecrow both are not hungry so they're not starting their grills yet also i should save going to save real quick what am i playing on i play on a uh, pc Patchy would be the one to catch on fire because he's the most flammable. <laughs> also, once they make their food, I delete it. I don't let them eat the food that they make. That way they keep making food. So yeah, see Cora put hers on the floor. I destroy it. So if she's hungry, she has to make food again. So as soon as they put those plates on the ground, I don't let them grab a plate to eat. I just destroy it all instantly. 
That way they have to keep making food. See, Cora, she's hungry. She's already on making another another batch. Who's pregnant? We don't know yet. We don't know which of them is pregnant. See, because the Beast and Patchy aren't that hungry, they're not making food. I mean, I know who's pregnant, but I ain't telling you which one it is. All right, Cora, food is back on the ground. Destroy that. Come on, one of you's got to catch this thing on fire. Tragic, don't you dare. Tragic keeps getting the plate, but I keep deleting it right before he gets a hold of it. Cora and Venus. Cora and Venus, they are hungry. <laughs> Cora and Venus are getting back to it. Uh, how hard is it to make a custom PC? My husband built mine. My husband's a real big techie, pretty nerdy. Uh, love him for that. People, I was going to say ladies, but not exclusive to all ladies. People, marry the nerds. Marry the nerds. They never leave. They're always home, <laughs> which is great. Um, they are technologically savvy. So they are always able to help you out. Uh, my husband, when he proposed to me, he bought the ring, but he also built me a PC. Because <laughs> until then, I used to just play on my laptop. Um, and he's like, nah, my lady needs something better than that. And so once he proposed to me, he gave me a ring and a PC. <laughs> and I used that PC to stream. And since then, he has built me a second PC that I also used to stream. <laughs> So, <clears throat> marry the nerds. <laughs> it's much better. <laughs> Will somebody start the fire already? They're making so much food, but I don't know how none of them have set anything on fire. Patchy and the werewolf uh, beast are not hungry. They have not tried to, uh, to eat anything yet. Yet. It's been Venus the Tragic Clown the whole time. Every time, Tragic Clown, he's able to grab that food. Cora is back at it. Cora has not given up. How have these sins not caught fire? I am baffled. Somebody called 911. Somebody fire put it on a dance floor. Oh, up. oh, strategy! Strategy! The beast is peeing in his room, maybe to make things less flammable. You know, more wet, less fire. I think Beast is uh, securing a victory by uh, peeing. I don't think anybody else has really established that uh, that strategy, and I think that may play well for him. He's very proud of what he's done there. How are none of you people burning anything yet? I'm like, usually they always start a fire so fast. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I keep having to stop to, to put away the food. Oh, Tragic has instead left his food on the grill. He has not, uh, Patchy has still not made a move. Then the beast have still not made a move to make any food at all. They're not that hungry yet. Okay. Um, Tragic has resumed his cooking. Successfully finished it. All right. Venus is now also imploring the, um, pee on the floor. Strategy. I'm gonna tell my boyfriend how your man proposed. He either gets the hit or doesn't get a <laughs> Oh no, Noel! <laughs> and by the way, oh my gosh, Beast is doing that sweetheart dance again. He is doing that sweetheart dance again. Beastie baby, you're making us blush. 
Patchy and the Beast start texting each other like, yeah, these guys are so dumb, they keep cooking. <laughs> How has no one started a fire? Somebody start this place on fire. I wonder, are like all of their cooking skills too high? What's everybody at? Patchy does not have a single cooking skill. Beast does not. Cora's cooking is now at level three. Okay, so there no one, the highest cooking skill around is a level three, which isn't that much. Certainly not enough that they shouldn't be able to burn the place. I'm just baffled. How has nobody started a fire? All right, guys, if nobody starts a fire in the next, I'm going to give it five minutes. I'm going to change how this thing is going to work. I'm going to set a timer on my phone for five minutes. If no one starts a fire in the next five minutes, I will be personally starting a fire. <laughs> and the closest sim is just out of luck. <laughs> ah! No! Cora! No! Hopefully she didn't eat- Oh! Patchy! No! <laughs> More Sims are making food than I thought! Amanda didn't start the fire! It was always burning since the world's been turning Oh. <laughs> Let the pregnant mama eat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I start that timer? Yes, I did. How? I don't understand how they haven't started the fire. Don't take our food, she preggers. <laughs> What? Who's preggers? I don't know. Which sims preggers, guys? I don't see. I don't see nothing. Which sims pregnant, guys? <laughs> I saw everything. I don't know, guys. I don't see any pregnant sims. Do you see a pregnant sim? Congratulations to those who said that both sims were pregnant. Congratulations, ya winners. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, tragic. Either they're going to start a fire or they're going to starve to death. I don't understand how they've made it this far without starting a fire. I've never had this happen before. Usually they start a fire within seconds. Hey, Cora! Timer on my phone hasn't gone off yet. There's still a chance Patchy or somebody could set this thing on fire. Okay, I feel like there was a while ago that The Sims was bugging out and Sims were catching on fire left and right. Now, like, none of my Sims are catching on fire. And it's a little, uh, sad. For a different reason. How? The beast, guys, he's done, he has done very well, okay? He's not hungry one little bit. He has not started uh, this grill up, I think, at all. <laughs> None of my sins are catching on fire and it's sad. Uh, okay, Pyro. <laughs> hey, when I do work like this, I need sins catching on fire, okay? I was going to say sims firing, but that's not correct English. 
Beast is still doing his seductive little dance over here. The Sims got one more minute. If they don't catch a catch on fire, I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, Beast! Beast doing his little dancey dance over here when his uh, baby mama is right over there. Did Cora woohoo with two different? No, Cora only woohooed with the Beast. Cora only woohooed with the Beast. So. Ooh, Venus is cleaning her grill. That could save her potentially. Patchy just peed, so I think they've all really just soiled their rooms at this point. Venus is like, can I get double pregnant? <gasps> Somebody's done it! With nine seconds to spare. Oh, can pregnancies catch fire? That's like kind of the question. Oh no, I didn't stop her from extinguishing it. I meant to do that. So excuse me while I start it back up because I normally stop Sims from extinguishing and I forgot to. So I'm gonna start it back up, back in her room. But I don't know if she can catch on fire. I'm genuinely curious about that. So let me just gameplay full autonomy off for a second. I don't know. Can pregnancies catch on fire? Is the question. Or did she just. Everybody get out of their rooms! Everybody get out of their rooms! This is why I didn't stop everybody from leaving. I'm so sorry to everybody else involved. This is why I put the pregnant Sims in between. All right, well, until one of them dies. Oi, oi! Ah, crap. So I'm pretty sure Beast caught on fire first. But I'm gonna see who dies first. Cause uh, you ain't done until the fat lady sings. So I'm gonna let them figure it out. The sim that dies second, I'm reviving, okay? So I'm gonna see who goes down first. I will revive whoever dies second. Expecting that, Beast. How'd you survive? Are you are you not burning anymore? He's not burning anymore. He's just standing there. He just willed the fire to stop. I can't even click him anymore. All right, can I have my other sims do some extinguishing, please? How did the beast survive? Werewolves can die, right? Yeah, werewolves can die. So I don't know how he lived, but this, this is exactly why I waited. Because they both caught on fire at almost the same time. But I didn't know if there was anything that would affect how fast they burned. So that's why I waited until to confirm somebody dying first. Because weird crap like this happens. How did he not die? I, he won't even... Now he moves. All right, well, somehow, even though the beast caught fire first, he lived. And Grim is just cleaning it. All right, guys. Well, with that surprising turn of events, uh, that's that. And just in time, I now have four remaining contestants and stream is ending in the next five minutes.
So that is a great place for me to stop streaming for now. If you have enjoyed watching me, please follow. And I will be streaming the rest of the Hunger Games series. The final episode, the finale of who is going to be winning this is going to be happening on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have had fun, please follow me. That way you do not miss when I go live next. Once again, I'm going to be li going live with this challenge again on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Twitch is where my schedule is at. So if you forget what time I'm going live, you can always check my schedule over on Twitch. Um... But yes, if you've had a good time, please follow. Um, that way you guys can see who got the ladies pregnant. Who is Venus pregnant with? Because I'm pretty sure Venus had two baby daddies, right? She woohooed with Patchy and the Beast, right? Or did they both? I don't remember who Beast all woohooed. Is Cora pregnant with the Beast? Are they both pregnant with the Beast? Or are they both... Or is he the dad of this one and Patchy's the dad of this one? Because Patchy, I know, only woohooed with Venus. But I think Beast got both of them, right? Beast had Venus and Korra. So Beast could, e Beast could either be the daddy of both the ladies or Patchy could be the daddy of one. But I'm pretty sure Korra is pregnant with just the Beast because I think Korra was the only one who woohooed the Beast. So... Once again, leave a follow if you've enjoyed yourself. I'll be going live again at Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to finish this challenge. We'll be resuming the Disney Princess Challenge on Friday. Unless you guys want me to continue and do another Hunger Games series, then I'll think about that. But I love the Hunger Games series. They're so freaking fun. Um, would you guys like to do a raid? Let's do a raid. Oops, oops, oops. Has there been a redeem the raid? Or we just want to do the raid? All right, goodbye to those of you on TikTok over here. I'm saying peace out. Once again, follow if you've had fun. I'll be seeing you guys all next time. Bye! <laughs> over here on TikTok. All right, now Twitch. Let's see. Guide the Raid Redeemed. All right, who is the Guide the Raid Redeemed by, and who are we reading? Who redeemed? I redeemed and I said anyone you want. All right, Princess Fireball. Sounds good. Let's do, let's see, who's streaming the Sims? Let's do this person. Because I don't think I've ever raided them before. Oop, almost misspelled her name. Almost misspelled it again. All right, hopefully this raid goes to the right thing. So I love you guys. I'll be seeing you guys all again on next time. Please have a wonderful time. We'll do this raid, and then I'll be piecing out as soon as this raid's ready to go. So I hope you guys all had fun. I had a lot of fun. This occult one was like the most interesting thing. I've had it a long time. I don't know. It's been real interesting. So let's go do this. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye. <laughs>